Well, here's one of my beams laid out. What it is is a 2x12 with some tin on top of it. I had to cut the tin down to about 11 inches. That's what I shot for. It fluctuated. Um, so I'd shoot for 11 inches even though a 2x12 is a little bit wider. But uh, anyways, what I'm doing to make my beams is uh, sandwiching tin between uh, two 2x12s. Uh, and then bolting them together. This is one of my other beams is already bolted together. Anyway, and uh, the ideal being that the steel will significantly stiffen the beam up. Now that's a heavy sucker. I'm gonna have to have help to raise that up into place. Of course, now the walls that'll support these beams, I beef them up with a lot of uh, two by fours. So one gonna be there, one gonna be up in there. Uh, the way I'm doing it, I'm doing a really strong one, one really strong one over my garage, and then I'll do three over um, the living area. One every eight foot. And um, that way I'll, I'll be able to use my 2x8s for floor joists, 16 footers that I have uh, used for the forms. I'll just cut them in half. They'll fit right between the beams to form the floor over the living area. Over the garage, I already made these, uh, you know, those 2x12 pieces that I tested driving the truck over the ditch. And that's what I'll use in the garage and they're 12 foot long so I only need one beam in the garage I just I used extra steel in this beam because it's a little bit longer it's 20 foot the others are 18 foot and then it's gonna have uh, more floor that's got to support so I just put um, I sliced up two 20 foot pieces of um, tin and then two 10 foot pieces of tin and I put the 10 foot pieces right in the middle and the 20 foot pieces run the full length uh, so in the middle of this beam it's actually because you get about uh, two and a half strips for from each piece of tin once you cut it down to 11 inches so uh, there's uh, like 10 sheets of tin thick in the middle of this beam